Okay, guys. Um, I was doing a bit of reading and researching, and basically that's all I do about the Summer Wells case, or pretty much any case, just information in general. And some information I ran across made me realize that Don Wells, what he thought happened as far as an abduction of his daughter, there's people out there that says, oh, there's no way she was abducted, you know, he's crazy. Other people are saying, oh, no, he knows what he's talking about. He's a loving father. There's no way they would do anything to their kids. There's even been YouTubers go out there and try to prove that there's no way to go up on that hill and be able to snag the child and leave. I have proof that she was not taken, carried off that hill by an abductor. I mean, I don't know how much it would mean to law enforcement. Because I'm assuming they're already smart enough to know this. So please, no hate. I'm just trying to put it out there for everybody else that may not know this yet. Like I said, I just it just came to me when I was doing research. But as I said, I can prove that Summer, no one came up on that hill, grabbed her, and carried her off of that hill. Couldn't have happened. Why know why? Because the search dogs they had up there picked up her scent and followed it off the hill, down the trail. And then it stopped when they got to the road. But wherever it was they found the footprints, the dog marked on those footprints as Summer's scent. So there was no possible way she could have been carried off of the hill. That's not saying that she didn't go off the hill. Now, or, or even, even if she was carried off the hill, a scent dog could pick that up. But it's a totally different type of dog that is used. There's an air scent dog and there's a ground scent dog. For a ground scent dog to have been used, she would have had to have walked down that trail. Okay, so she may walk down the trail. The dog scent followed her to the end of the road, or to the road. Then the smell disappeared. Didn't pick back up until on the other side of the ridge, where the footprints were found. Now, an air scent dog could follow her scent. If she had been carried from the house down the trail, an air scent dog would have picked that up and followed it. The only difference is it wouldn't have stopped at the road. An air scent dog would have followed it across the road to the other ridge to where the footprints were at and kept going. So it couldn't have been somebody that carried her off the hill. Because that kind of dog that would have picked that up would have kept going. They wouldn't have stopped at the road. So the ground scent dog is what picked up her scent and followed it to the road. Which means she walked. She was not carried. So if she was abducted, it was either she walked with the abductor down the hill. Or she went to the road and then they took her. But it still don't make sense why the dog picked up her feet print on the other side of the ridge. But my point is, nobody carried her off that hill. If I'm wrong, like I always say people, if there's somebody out there that knows for a fact that I'm wrong, please let me know. Feel free to comment below. All comments and theories and thoughts are welcome. It helps my channel grow. Don't forget to like, subscribe, 
and we'll see you next time.